everyone welcome back to my channel and to another video we haven't had one of these for quite some time I think it's probably been at least three or four months since we have done a design space update that has had more than just bug fixes and stuff involved in it so this one is quite a um, it's not a big update but it's definitely changed design space so when you get this update you're going to look at it and think oh my god what's happened I am using the beta version of Cricut Design Space at the moment and that just means that I'm using a pre-released version of Cricut Design Space with these new features on it but there is no guarantee that it's going to always work properly. This was definitely apparent when Offset was first introduced on Design Space because it was very very difficult to use, it didn't always work and you had to be very very patient with it so you can switch to the beta version if you want to get these features early otherwise just hang around for a couple of weeks and Cricut will roll out this new version this new version number is number 8 so it's beta version 8 later on in the video I will show you how to find the beta version and switch it from live to beta the other thing that this means is that if you are viewing any of my older videos they are going to look a little bit different to what we're seeing on design space now so if you've got any problems or you get stuck with anything you can't find any features or you need some help please drop me a comment in that video and I will come back to you and try to help I am going to start trying to do some of my older videos again so they will be updated for you so you won't have to worry about not being able to find things and getting stuck so I'm going to show you basically what's changed in design space and help you to sort of navigate your way around again because things have changed with regards to where things are. So first of all this is the home screen that you're going to get and you can see there's been a few changes to it. We have the top menu here is the biggest change um, and that follows through when you go through to the canvas screen. So I'm going to just go onto the canvas. I've already got a project on here because this is what I was working on before my design space decided it was going to update so as you can see again at the top things are a little bit different I'm just going to share a video with you actually that I took a couple of days ago which will show you the absolute comparison between the two different ones now so this was only taken on the 19th and it's the 21st of September 2023 today so this shows you the differences that you'll see so at the top there of course now we have this home menu and then we've got canvas so rather than having the hamburger three line menu and then canvas we've got home and canvas so that's a bit different the hamburger menu has gone completely it no longer exists on design space so that means that everything has moved that you would have seen there so I think if I go through here you I may have there we go so that is what the three line hamburger menu used to do so it had all of these different settings involved in it so all of that has actually moved now so we need to find where it's all gone so let's just get rid of that so let's minimize it in case we need to get it back again so at the top here then we've got home so if we click on home it's going to take us to the home screen if we click on canvas it's going to take us back to our canvas and then over on the right hand side this little picture this avatar used to be over here as well and then we've got my name which will be your profile name and then the drop down menu here the notifications bell and the little number of notifications that you've got has stayed roughly in the same sort of place so if I now click on this drop down menu you're going to get it come up with your profile name and stuff and then your profile is here so if you click on that it's going to take you to your profile with any shared projects that you've got there then if we go back again if we click on notifications it's going to show us our notification so it's literally just to double up on this bell because if we come off that and just click on the bell we're going to see exactly the same thing there then we've got settings now settings is what has replaced the three line menu that used to be up here so everything is here it's just under different tabs now instead of it being one big long line there it's now all different ones so on general you've got your country your language settings how you save it's got the application experience so as I was saying I'm using the beta version but if you're using live it probably won't be this version at the moment then I've got my subscription status and I've got about design space so this is basically 
um, the version number if there's any updates you can click on install update and it will try and see if there's another update for you you can click on what's new here and that used to be over here in this menu also so if we just click on that it brings up exactly the same style box that it used to but it's just um, coming from a different place so this is the 8.0 release and it tells us about updated navigation that's basically what I'm sort of explaining to you now so um, everything else for weeks and weeks and weeks has been um, just bug fixes and app improvements and stuff. We haven't had much. There was that operation type in the layers panel, but I didn't think that that was really worthy of a whole video. Let's click on this drop down again. Okay, and go back to settings. So now we've got the next tab along is machines. So this is where you'll set up a new machine if you get a new maker or a joy um, or the new joy machine this is where you'll set it up and you'll start and it will carry you through all the different things that you need to do and then we've got update firmware machine calibration which is here for all of the different machines so I'm going to select my maker because I do need to do a calibration because my print then cut after this design space update is wildly inaccurate uh, machine care this only relates to the new venture machine if you click on there you'll only see venture then we have got custom material settings this is where you can now select your own materials work out your own settings so number of passes pressure all that type of thing you can do it either here or you can do it when you are on the material settings when you're choosing your base material in a project you'll still be able to do it there then you've got link cartridges here and this is for when you might have some old cartridges from old machines from years ago and you still want to be able to use them so you would link those here now. Then we've got our canvas settings which is our grid, the units that we use and the operation type being visible. Then we've got load type. Um, now I've changed this two or three times to just be maker and every time I go back to it it keeps changing it to Cricut Maker 3 and my mat is also not being preset on here for some reason so that must be a little bug um, then you've got your print then cut size which because I'm in the UK I use A4 size then you've got your notifications now this is what you'll be allowed to see on this bell here so all of these things here if they are green you are going to see them as an update in your notifications so if you don't want to see new followers for instance you would just click on there close that little tab and it's now gone so if someone follows me I won't see that now but I like to see my new followers so I'm going to leave that open then you've got members you follow so if you follow other creatives then they post something it will show you that they've posted it here and then you've got all your information that comes through from Cricut as well so apart from all of that that is about it that is the update in a nutshell um, I think it'll take a little bit of getting used to because I can use Cricut Design Space in my sleep and I'm going to take a few minutes I think to remember where everything is now that it's changed a little bit but I hope you found this video to be useful if you have don't forget to subscribe and drop me any questions or comments that you have down below I would love to hear from you take care of yourselves I'll see you soon for another one bye